The old National Events Plaza gets its first test tonight of the facility's new mask mandate. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brad Bird. And I'm Shelley Kirk. It is the first in a series of events in Evansville at three downtown entertainment venues. Eyewitness News' Noah Alaza is live downtown with the latest for us. Noah? Brad Shelley, good evening to you. Those doors have just opened outside here at Old National Events Plaza in downtown Evansville. You can already see several dozen people waiting in line to get into tonight's Styx concert. Now, it is the first of several big events scheduled to take place in the coming days here in the downtown area. But officials with the ONB Events Plaza in the nearby Ford Center say that they will be enforcing a mask mandate and they expect visitors to comply. Nobody wants to wear a mask. I get it. Um, but on the other hand, we're not here individually, so you have to think of the group as a whole. Ford Center officials are prepping for a big turnout at Friday night's Hank Williams Jr. concert. Officials say a mask must be worn throughout the event. The exception is if someone is actively eating or drinking. Ford Center says that masking made the most sense. It's going to be fairly uh, busy here, so social distancing will be tough. So that would have been another option to say we're going to you know, kind of socially distance, keep people apart. But due to the number of people here for this, the concerts, it's it's not possible to do that. So people are going to be in close proximity of each other, and that's why another you know, reasoning of the mask is it's people are going to be close, and there's no way around it. Ford Center is also monitoring case numbers with events scheduled at the end of August, including Guns and Hoses, which takes place August 28th. Guns and Hoses is going to happen. Um, there is a mask mandate now, which we all have to abide by. However, when you think about the greater scheme of things, this is for charity for children that can't walk, can't talk, can't feed themselves. Your money is going back to that. So is wearing a mask for three hours beneficial to children that have to live lives like that? The Lady A concert follows Guns and Hoses August 29th. At the nearby Victory Theater and Old National Events Plaza, masks are also required, and some additional guidelines are now in place. The Events Plaza says that a K-Bug policy, or no before you go, is in effect. In addition to masks, people can only bring in a clear bag of 13 by 13 or a small clutch purse. Touchless tickets are also available, and ordering food and drinks digitally is another option. And several dozen more people continuing to file into Old National Events Plaza tonight ahead of that Sticks concert. At this time, proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test will not be required to enter any of these entertainment venues. But I am told by officials that they will continue to monitor this situation on a week-by-week -week basis, and then they'll go from there going forward. We'll, of course, be continuing to stay on top of this pass along any updates as soon as they become available. Live tonight in downtown Evansville, Noah Alatza, Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Noah.